Welcome back to this second video on Thangos B. Phrygian. What we have here are four rhythm compasses, and so we'll look at each one individually. Starting with the first one. Uh, what we start out with on our C7 is a, a very standard uh, rascale for tangos. It's this this horse gallop where we've got the index up, M down, followed by I down. So the combinations here, I, and then our horse gallop, followed by an I up. Line. And then after our bass line, index, followed by another rascale, which is A M I I, A M I I up, and that's where your beat is on that last I, followed by that M and I up. So we have all together. Looking at our second compas, we start with a C7. And again, we have our horse gallop that we, that we saw in the previous compas. And this is followed immediately by the syncopated uh, G that comes in. And we have our little pulgar line there. Now, this ending is, is a lot like the uh, rascale of the first, the ending of the first compass, only here we just have an additional golpe on beat four. Next compass, we have a C9. All arpeggiated. Now when we pull off here, we want to hold that, that second string note, that C, Until we pull it off at the end of that little arpeggio. All played with pulgar. The final compass of this video. Again, C. Now here, it's a little bit tricky, a few things to keep in mind. In order to get this bar and play your bass note with your fourth finger, you may need to rotate your wrist up towards the neck. So rather than having a large gap here, rotate, think of it as rotating your forearm or your wrist and get that closer so this pinky can stretch easily. It doesn't need to stretch too far because actually we want to lay it down a little bit so it's touching string five. When we, when we do our altapua, that always sounds funny, altapua, uh, we want to mute string five until we have our new bass note. And again, a little bit tricky this last chord, one thing we need, well, we need to have a lot of open strings ringing underneath our fretted strings. So uh, that can be hard, especially this string six to string five. And uh, we have that here again on string three to string two. So what I'd recommend is just bring your whole hand forward. Don't, don't play just with your fingers, play guitar with your whole hand. So bring the whole hand forward the whole arm even, and uh, that allows you to clear all the strings. You've got nice, clean, open strings ringing out 
beneath the fretted strings. One thing I wanted to accomplish with this little section here is to expose the student to some different voicings of the same chord. So if we look at this C7, the progression in every compas is basically C7 to a uh, B. Okay, or sometimes it's just a C, sometimes it's a C7. Uh, anyways, here we have our C. Okay, and then next compas will have that. That's the same thing. So there's our C7 there. Incidentally, one of my favorite voicings of it, because we have a lot of semitone rubs, which I love. We have a B flat, a B, and a C all together. Really nice. And uh, first came across that chord in a Via Lobo study. Love it. Uh, let's see, the third compass, again, our C7, we now have a C9, added that D in there. And then in the final compass, we have just a straight C. So these are all the same chord, different voicings. And then all C. So uh, learn learn your different voicings and get used to using them in, dis in different situations. It's, uh, it's just a good way to start to move around the neck and take some of the, the traditional things that you play and maybe um, just do a little bit more inventing with them. So good way to, to get out of your standard thinking and, and do a bit of exploring. So I hope you enjoyed this video and, uh, I've enjoyed producing it. It's, a, it's always a lot of fun to, uh, to play some of my own compositions. So <laughs> anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care. Bueno, este video está dedicado a mi madre, quien está volando a España mientras tocamos y hablamos. Um, buen viaje, te quiero mucho. En tu vida, salud, dinero y amor.